this is a kit we wore in trip. I'm wearing it today because I'm hoping it will bring us some good luck. Hello everyone, welcome back. I am making my way up to Wembley because we face Juventus in our second leg. In the last 16 in a Champions League. Oh, I'm buzzing. Really excited. We had a, lot, a good couple of games recently, so really excited. Obviously, we've done pretty well at Wembley this season so far. I mean, we had that great game against Dortmund and then an even better one against Real Madrid. I don't know why I'm so confident. I'm actually not quite sure how this game's going to go because uh, they've got Dybala back and Higuain is probably fit as well so you know it will be harder but as I said we, we do have the home advantage as it is um, we have a tongue in back which is good so I think he'll play with Sanchez in the back and then Dyer can push up into midfield with Dembele Aurea can't play because he's serving his, um, his suspension but uh, so that means obviously Trippier's coming in I think I would prefer to play Davies just because I think he's on a better form right now opposed to Danny Rose and apart from that as I said we had the holding midfielders in the likes of Dyer and Dembele and then obviously Harry Kane up front now we played Lamella out in Italy and um, I'm not I'm not sure how it's going to play out because uh, we're not going to sit back we obviously we obviously want to do well but uh, Sonny's been outstanding this season so far and his pace could be so useful so I personally would like to see him start because I just think he's been so good especially obviously against Huddersfield who was just outstanding he was on fire or, or Lucas as well because since he's come in he's been so good I, I would like to see at least one of our pacey players up there I think Ericsson and Delhi have pretty much got their places cemented so I'm not sure who's going to be that Lamella, Son he probably won't start Lucas but uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm really excited. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm getting ready, as you can tell. I'm just rambling on. I asked loads of you guys on Twitter and Facebook what your predictions are, and it's been quite mixed. Obviously, loads of us are quite positive, and we're all going for wins. Um, two ones. I think I saw a few three ones. That was that was quite interesting. I think it will be a tight game. I, I don't think. Um, who knows? I might be wrong. I mean, I didn't know what to expect before Real Madrid. So so there's that. But, um, but yeah, no. So loads of t positive two ones or one nils. I saw a few one alls. Um, quite a few people saying that it's going to be a draw. And then. Uh, and then I actually saw a few people who said, unfortunately, we might lose. So who knows? Someone will be right because there's all sorts of opinions out there. I don't know. I I think maybe one all, but realistically, I just it depends on a lot of how we're going to play. I, I don't think we're going to sit back because we're going to need to be the home team. So that's what we did against Real and Dortmund. We, we took the game to them. They obviously need to score. They can't let it be a nil-nil or a one all realistically because they won't go through then. So eventually they'll need to score, but I don't think they're going to start like that. Um, but uh, again, it, I, I'm not sure, but I know that I'm really looking forward to it. I think it should be a great game. Uh, I'm really excited. And we'll see how it goes. And you're obviously coming along with me. And let's get going. No, yeah, but I'm loving yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Yorkshire. Oh, guys, what are your predictions? 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Who's scoring? Harry Kane. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Loving it, loving it. Oh, brilliant. So I'm here with Louis. What is your prediction? Uh, my prediction is 5-1 Spurs. What? Harry Kane hatching. <laughs> Love it. I really hope you're right, mate. Where are you sitting? I'm um, sitting Matthias. Okay, great. I hope we have a great time today. Thank you so much for coming on. So I'm joined by Mohammed and Ibrahim. What are your predictions ahead of the game, guys? Oh, it's going to be a close one. We're going to win 2-1. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so too. A close game, but we get through to the next round. I'm really excited as well. So I'm joined by Hanika once again. What are your predictions ahead of the game? Uh, so I'm going to go for 1-0. I'm going to be less positive than everyone else right now. They're saying 3-1, stuff like that. But I'm saying extra time. Extra time. Kane's going to be there for us with a header. I, I don't want that. that stress. I don't want that extra time stress. So come on. It'd be really tense. It'd be a good atmosphere though. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I've been excited all day at school. So yeah, I hope we can win. I just want to win. I don't care who scores. Lorraine, she can come and score for us if you want. Exactly, exactly. As long as we win. 
and we score, we get through, that's all that matters. Come on, you spurs. So guys, look, Sarah started collecting badges as well on her scarf. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm here with Adrian. Hi. What is your prediction ahead of the game? I think it's going to be 2-1 tonight. We're going to win 2-1. Who's and scoring? I think we're going to go one down. Ooh, Ooh that's going to make it really hard on my heart. And it's going to be oh early as well. We're all going to be shitting us. Oh my god. But I've got a feeling we're going to hit it 2-1. I really do. And who's going to score? Yeah. Musa. Den Ballet. Oh yes, please. I'd love that. Oh my Den Ballet. You know, on the one hand, I want you to be right because 2-1 sounds amazing. But I'm not sure I want to go through that agony of going a goal down. I know. Oh. But I think it's going to happen. Yeah. As but I don't want extra time. No, no. I've got to go all the way back to Devon. I don't want to go extra time. No, we time. don't want extra time. We don't Four o'clock in the morning is going to be a bit too harsh. So much dedication. I love it. It's but we amazing. all, I love it. The weather's beautiful. There's yeah. no wind. It's warm. There's no rain. Guys, it's so much warmer compared to last It's fantastic. <laughs> and it's the Italians here are great, actually. They're really I've nice. I've seen a lot of them in yeah. there. Really nice. I've heard a lot of them on the tube as well. And they're just lovely. So they're really, really nice. So I think so, yeah. we're going to have a good night. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Fantastic. It's great. Thank you See for you coming up. The Champions League or Champions League campaign for the 2017-2018 season is over. Oh, and we played so well and we went 1-0 up. 
I think, as I said, we played well, we created chances, we, we dominated the game, I think, and uh, we outplayed them for most parts of it. I think they got pretty frustrated, especially um, in the second half as well. But then, credit to Allegri, who made two subs, changed the game up, and eventually got two goals in five minutes, which, you know, changed the whole thing. And, and then it was just an uphill battle. And we did create chances, you know, we, we responded a little bit, and we created chances, and we fought right until the final whistle. But it wasn't meant to be, and it's just so disappointing considering how well we've done this season in this in this competition. And you know, everyone wrote us off after the group stage or before the group stages. I was a bit shocked as well with that group stages. But then we played so well there, and then we did so well out in Turin to come back from two 0 down to make make it even remotely possible to you know have a hope. And we were coming into the home game. But, um, but you know, I guess sometimes we just lack a little bit of experience what, what the old lady had because, uh, credit to them, they definitely knew how to close up the game after they took the lead. And, um, yeah, I'd be interested to see what you guys were thinking about this game. Would have, how would have you changed it? How would have you responded to their two substitutions? Because I think, obviously, you know, that was the crucial part in the second half. So it'd be interesting to hear that. Really do apologize about my voice i tried my best to lift my team up um and you know i was really disappointed so hey that's that's the game in the end of the day but uh, it was lovely meeting you guys beforehand and you know in the end of the day we've had a pretty pretty amazing season and we've done really really well in the champions league especially compared to last season so anyways that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed if you did then please leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you would like to see more spurs related content from me check out my social media handles in the description box down below hopefully i will see you in the future and come on you spurs Sorry.